What up, what up, fight fam? It's your boy, Marlo, back with another edition of Marlo's Corner. And in the corner today, we're going to talk about the up-and-coming matchup with Earl Spence Jr. versus Carlos Acampo. We're going to look at video, and I'm going to give you my take. Hope I can get some feedback. Let's get it. First off, we're going to start with Ocampo, who his last fight out of the three was by KO, body shot. The other two was unanimous decision. Now, in those fights that I saw, I noticed that Campo liked to fight at a distance, use his jab, and throw little power shots here and there from the outside until he feel your power. And if you feel you ain't hitting hard, he gonna slide up in there and start the Mexican style. Which, you know, in one fight, was effective, pretty much effective. The guy couldn't handle the body shot. He went down. But in all the other ones that I saw, which was the three, the body shots really wasn't effective. Fights went the distance, Campos got the victory. Now, one thing I do notice, if Campo feel that power, he tends to back up and back off, try to dance around, use the jab, throw little one-twos. He ain't got very much accuracy, but I guess it seemed to be effective against his opponents he been having. He ain't as sharp, but he tough. He gonna hang in there. Now, his weaknesses is, when he throws some of those shots, he leaves a lot of openings, which can be a bad thing going against Earl Spence. And when he get up in the phone booth, he lets he lets you the glove he, he lets you ride his chest with the gloves, which his opponents does. Excuse me, which is a bad thing for his opponents. But I'm just pointing out. A few things that I, I saw in El Campo in his last three fights. You know, they wasn't they wasn't all that spectacular, wasn't nothing that stood out to me. The only thing that really just stood out to me was his toughness. The guy's a tough fighter. Hispanic. And I believe when he get in that ring, he's gonna bring it. He gonna give it his all. You know? I saw him hang in there and take some blows. He's not a good counter puncher. Unless he in the gym right now working hard. But his counter punching, you know, it's not that, that terrific. It's not nothing to brag about. But another thing about Ocampo, he was supposed to fight another fighter to be the mandatory for the IBF but his opponent backed out I don't know why I don't even care to, to specify why I'm just pointing out the facts but it's a good thing though and that shows the character of Earl Spence Jr that Earl Spence went on ahead and took the fight anyway but that's all I got for El Campo Let's move on to the champ. Now the champ, he a whole nother beast. A combo can play on the outside if he want to because the IQ of this guy is at a whole nother level. He more sharper than El Campo and he definitely got the power. As you can see in this video against Peterson, his outside. Look at his eyes, look at his patience, and watch him pick his spots off, off the defense. Watch him pick his spots off the defense. See that high guard? If El Capo go in that high guard, it's going to be a, a night night for a night night for him, man. A night night with two options. 
head or body. I don't know which one it's gonna be, but I can tell you one thing for sure. Spencer's gonna take advantage of it. Now on this one right here, this is compared, the closest I can get to compare of a Mexican style fighter that I see Spence in the ring with. And watch how he handled the guy. You know, he, good defense. Stand in the pocket, body shot. Body shot. See, Spence could bring that, he could bring that wild stuff, which he, he, he could play the wild game. But while he playing that wild game, his eyes is at the, on the target at all times. He not just throwing punches. He not just trying to put out a work rate for the judges or the fans. His work rate is at a high level, but when it's coming out, it's very effective. You know, like with Cal Brook, Cal Brook. You guys go back and watch that fight. He broke Cal Brook down round by round. Them body shots, them jabs, straight rights to the body, them hooks to the body, them head shots. Brooke was coming. Brooke's a tough fighter. But he could he just couldn't stand the ferociousness and the conditioning of this boxing beast. Now the champ. When you see him getting that high guard, because he blocks real good. I think, in my opinion, when he gets in that guard, he ready to go in for the body. And when he do that, a lot of his opponents don't make it, man. You know, a lot of his opponents, they don't survive. The champ record, 23 and 0, 20 knockouts. Only three fighters survived with the champ. And the way Ocampo fight, it looked like it, it's going to be a short night. So my prediction, and I'm leaving it on record, is Earl Spence by KO. And he sit back and wait on the winner of that WBC belt. If not, I believe he'll take on the winner of Crawford and Horn. You know, like I said in my last video, I see good things for the champ. You know, I know he working hard. I know he getting ready. See, like I was telling y'all earlier, how good of the man this man is. Ocampo was supposed to fight for the mandatory of that IBF belt. And Earl Spence is giving him a chance anyway, because his opponent backed out. You know? So I feel like Earl, like, let's just get it out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing going on right now. You know? You want a shot? I'm going to give you one, a body shot, head shot, that's about all, but you know, that's my take on, on the champ, man, Earl Spence Jr., I hope y'all liking the video, and filling my points, and leave some comments, it's Marlo, Marlo's Corner, and I'm out.
Shout out to all my partners in the LDBC. Shout out to my Texas partner, Trey X. My boy, Mike Biggs. And World Breaker Fight. One thing.